Okay, let's go ahead and start working on the record creation flow. And in this video, we'll just go ahead and render the page and work on the design and set up the form. And in the upcoming video, we'll go ahead and implement the dependent dropdowns. So yeah, let's go ahead and start working on this. So let's open up our code editor and let's start with the controllers first because we have been following the convention to start with the controllers. So yeah, let's go ahead and define the create page. And here we'll just go ahead and render the create page inside the student's namespace. And along with this, we also need to pass the classes related data. So while we are here, let's also go ahead and do that. So we'll just grab the classes data and okay let's import the classes model and we want to grab all the classes and since we have already defined the resource for this so let's go ahead and wrap that inside the classes resource and call the collection and now we can pass these data over to our create page and okay let's go ahead and define this create page inside the student's namespace so create dot view and here i'll just go ahead and paste the design and then we will further work on this so yeah this is the design for our page and we have some dummy data that we are currently rendering in here so as you can see we have an option with a dummy value of one and section a and we also have the classes related data and everything else is something that we have already discussed so we have the name the email and yeah this is a really simple template but we still need to work on a few stuff in here so what we can do here is let's open up our dashboard because we will be grabbing some stuff from here so i'll just copy the head and the authenticator layout code along with the template and I'll work on other stuff accordingly. So yeah, I'll just paste that over here. And again, open up the dashboard and I'll copy the ending authenticated layout and paste that over here. Let's also go ahead and copy this block of code because we need to import the authenticator layout and the head component. So yeah, let's go ahead and paste that over here and this should now render properly and instead of dashboard this is going to be create student and header looks good okay this should be create student and what else do we need okay we need to hook this up in our front end so when the user clicks on this add student we need to render that so let's go ahead and do that as well so on our index we have that button so instead of this traditional a tag we will be using the inertia's link tag and this also expects a prop of href and here we can pass the route so let's go ahead and pass that route over here and the route in this case is going to be students dot create and again to interpret this properly we need to pass the colon in here so now if we go ahead and hover over the add student okay we need to define this as a link otherwise it will not be a native link tag and if we go ahead and reload okay this is still not working so what's happening in here so link href and okay we have not imported this link so let's go ahead and do that from the inertia.js view 3 package and okay this looks good but this is still not being rendered as a link so what we can do here is okay maybe we can remove this as prop and let's go ahead and give this a try okay so that works so initially i tried to pass that because it was not rendering properly and now this looks good so now when i click on this then as you can see we are redirected to the create page and let's also go ahead and populate the classes related data so that should be pretty easy so we are passing this data from our create page to our create view component 
and here we can receive that so let's define the props and we will be receiving the classes data which is going to be of type object and is required so let's go ahead and pass that and now we can loop over the classes data in here so we have a default value of select a class so we'll keep that but for the options we can loop over these as item we can't really name this as class because it is a reserved word in javascript so yeah let's name this as item in classes dot data so remember to append the data in here because we are using the resources so yeah this is going to be wrapped in the data key and let's also pass a key to this so i'll get rid of the sidebar and let's pass a key of item dot id and the value in this case is going to be okay what's happening in here we have an error key is going to be item dot id and let's pass the placeholder or the label so the label is going to be item dot name and the value is going to be item dot id and we can interpret that by again passing the colon so yeah let's save this and if we go ahead and reload then as you can see all the classes are rendered here and this is again coming from the database so yeah that's it for this video and we still have a few things to implement in this record creation flow that is to implement dependent drop downs and we also need to display the validation errors and then we will finally store this data into the database so yeah in the next video we'll be implementing the dependent drop down functionality and i'll see you guys in the next one